Grenada's agriculture sector plays an important role in the economy. Rolling hills produce nutmeg, clove, cinnamon and other spices, cocoa and bananas along with other seasonal fruits and vegetables. A grow what you eat and eat what you grow policy has been promoted, but over the years, some farming practices have reduced productivity, affecting food security and negatively impacting the environment. Slash and burn techniques have resulted in the emission of gases, which contribute to global warming. Frequent plowing of steep slopes result in soil erosion. The use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides are dangerous, affecting the health of humans, animals and marine life. A lot of the farmers here still do use a lot of pesticides. And, uh, and, and in many times, they don't um, use any protection. And then, of course, the runoff, it's, it's just so bad for the environment. To help address these issues, the Grenada Organic Agriculture Movement, GOM, through assistance from the ICAS Climate Change Adaptation Fund, embarked on a Climate Smart Agriculture project to promote sustainable farming practices and build resilience of farmers. We are trying to introduce certified organic agriculture in Grenada. This project has put together the principles and practices of organic agriculture that can lead you to the marketplace. We have, for instance, composting, identification of pests and disease, how to repel them, vermiculture, the production of humus using worms, and humus is very important in organic agriculture. It is used as a fertilizer, it is used as a pest control, mulching, intercropping as a means to maintain biodiversity, decrease the number of pests, and prevent the emergence of exotic pests. We got funds to establish demonstration sites around the island. So we spread them around so that when we are doing our training, we can pull the farmers from that area. We'll use materials like branches and the leaves and other organic waste to generate composting. So the aim is to demonstrate how successful these things can be in terms of growing crops and maybe that will encourage other farmers and so to sort of move away from the detrimental use of these um, artificial fertilizers and so and move to, to the organic practice. Organic manual tends to replenish the soil, replace nutrients that was taken out by plants. The healthier the plant, the healthier the produce, the healthier the person who eat the produce. And in one way of doing so is to practice the climate smart agriculture that is being practiced under this project. As we are much more aware of what happens in the mountain do affect the coast and also our livelihoods. We have a lot of the natural resources here, like the bagasse, the cocoa shell, the nutmeg shell, the seaweed. I mean, we have an abundance of all of that right here on the island so that we don't have to use all of these chemicals. So I think in the long run, it's, it's just a win-win being organic. I think it would be wonderful that we could assist in showing other farmers that it's possible. This is the strategy. Spread the demonstrations around the islands. Partner with the Ministry of Agriculture or volunteers who have the time. And third, use these people as teachers you know, as we, we move forward. Through the organic practices of shredding, composting and vermiculture, soil conditions will improve. The quality of the marine environment will also improve. Runoff and loss of topsoil into the nearshore marine environment will be reduced, supporting existing biodiversity, ensuring clean water resources and uncontaminated beaches and rivers, which benefit Grenada's tourism product. Implementing activities related to organic agriculture, together with other environmentally sound practices, promotes and encourages activities which are in line with climate change adaptation and mitigation. Such an approach can significantly reduce existing damaging practices and begin the process of renovation and regeneration of the environment. The GOM project is one of six agriculture climate smart projects implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture under the UNDP ICAS project.